What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrenrad89 here, bringing you another video. For today's video, we are gonna be going over my Batman collection, and this is actually a combination collection. It's our collection, it's my wife's too, because she has an abundance of huge Batman stuff. Me and her have a huge love for Gotham, for Bruce Wayne, for the whole Batman catalog of, you know, movies, be it comics, you know what I mean, posters, toys, everything. We are obsessed with it. So like I said, it's a very huge, huge collection. First, we're going to go through, I'll show you my video of all my shelves that are inside our bedroom, and then we'll come back to here so we can go through all my Blu-rays, DVDs, and comics, and other stuff like that. So let's do this. Stick around to this video. And also, I wanted to let you all know that I will be live streaming pretty soon on Mike from DigiZ That's channel. We're going to be having another Z Talks. I will be a guest on there. And also Angel from the Voices from Mausoleum podcast. I will be guest starring on a stream for them for a Scream stream where we will be discussing all things related to Scream. So make sure you stay tuned to those channels. I'll have the links in the description below. So let's get down to this video. Roll it. So we'll start with the wall art. That is a special small like size poster that we got for the Batman release when the movie came out. Then below that we have this very nice Justice League wall art piece that I got. I believe that was from Hot Topic or that might have been from actually Walmart. I don't know. And this is like just a nice little hanging piece. Has like comic book covers of Batman shaped like the Batman. Love that symbol. Now we have the t-shirt collection. Love this Batman one with the blue. Very sweet. Has that comic book cover, old school look to it. Then we have my Batman v Superman shirt. Dawn of Justice. Fantastic film. I will defend it till I die. And the Batman. This was the shirt that I got for the release of the film and I wore for when I went to go check that bad boy out. Next up, we have the Selena Kyle Chase Batman bike from the Batman, the Robert Pattinson Batman, and Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman with the Bat Cycle. Fantastic piece. Also, this lenticular kind of just tin case that we have. Nice, awesome, you know, Batman standing on Gotham. Love the way he's looking down and stuff. And you can put makeup in there, markers, arts and crafts stuff, you know, that kind of tin case. Nothing special, but I love anything Batman. Next Batman shelf, we have this cool little mailbox tin that just has some candies in it. Never opened it or anything, but Gotham. Batman, of course, gotta have it. Then we have a Batman versus Batman Azrael armor set back there. I'm gonna try to get that lighting right, but it's kind of, you know, the window back there trying to get some extra light in the room. Then we have, that's Ben Affleck's Batman from Ben Batman v Superman and Batmite. An 80-year anniversary piece for Batman, and that was, I think, like 1959 or something like that, or 69 was the first time he ever showed up. Then we have a Gojitsu Batman in the back, similar to Stretch Armstrong. Older people will know what that means. And then we have the infected Batman from Earth-22 back there as well. So some other fabulous pieces right there. Get a full-length shot of that, you know, beautiful shelf right there. Next shelf, we have that cool Funko First strategy game for Batman has Batgirl in there and actually a pop here of Harley Quinn too and I believe Joker's down there. Awesome piece and I love that old school Batman look back there and the Batgirl, just fantastic. Then this is just a cool little tin with a Batman puzzle in it. The beanie, got a sweet little Batman beanie. Then that is the Ben Affleck Batman v Superman, like look at that figure. Huge size on that one. Then we have another Batman figure right next to him. Kind of the old school Michael Keaton design right there. A Joker, little nice pop hero, but that's the flat kind of metal pin type ones. Like, oh man, like I said, we go wild. Anytime I see stuff and it's the black and yellow, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab it, man. And there's a tech Batman back there too. That figure is the Bat Tech Batman. And that's a tin that holds that Batman wallet down there that we're going to scan by here just a little bit of time right here. But yeah, tons of stuff, Batman. Always looking out for stuff out there in the stores or anything like that. Then we have a huge, huge glass goblet right there. Look at that with that gold and black. 
sweet, sweet piece right there. I might might end up drinking something out of there one day. <laughs> and that awesome Batman in the back, you see that? That is hand-painted, and you can tell it has that kind of design of almost the comic look. The abs, the pecs, everything, the blue. It's darkened in certain areas. Then we have Batman comic covers right there on the side with the Velcro kind of covering, you know, when you close the box. Fantastic. Another wall piece that I can hold up in wall art, but I just have it on my shelf. So yeah, another great cover from Batman back in the day. So yeah, another awesome shelf of the Batman collection. Get that full length view right there for you. Next up, we have that gold Batman you see there done by Creature Chaos. That's a special first edition one with cool three mystery accessories in it. Then we have the Robert Pattinson Batman back there with the wingsuit of the Batman. That was really awesome. Then this cute little shine like the bat signal figure. I love that little pop hero with the Batman symbol in his eyes. Ah. Then we got some cool pop heroes in the back celebrating the 80 years of Batman. We got the Red Sun Batman. We also got Nightmare Batman. And then we have Robert Pattinson's Batman. All the pop heroes. And that other one is just a piece from a like a bottle or a cover or something like that. And that's what that's from right there. There And a little mini click kind of Batman figure right there. Batman cup. I am Batman, you see. And that Batman mug that does when it heats up or is cold, it changes colors. And the Batman symbol does go yellow. Then we have that fantastic Batman versus Bane piece, man. Exclusive figures only at Target. Bane is one of my favorite Batman villains. So when we saw that, me and my wife were like, oh, we have to have that. And I love the suit. The Batman suit with the outline gold of the symbol in that one. Fantastic. This is probably my favorite shelf right here, specifically just for me in terms of like when I look at it, this is my favorite one. Next shelf, you see our Harley Quinn poster right there in the back with another Batman cover kind of wall art piece right there. Another nice size Batman figure that's a specific kind of goggle suit. I think that's the Marine Batman suit, and that's what we play our vinyls on. That's a vinyl record player, that Batman case right there and everything. Then we have the Batman Who Laughs, that kind of old school superpowers figure, very retro. Then we have a Batman figure from Injustice, the video game. Anybody who plays the Injustice games will recognize this Batman right there. Then we have a lollipop Batman in the back, if you can see there, and a cool Harley Quinn like kind of stuffed little figure, and then a Batman figure too. I love that that case. Another one celebrating the 80 years. You can see the the sticker on that right there, and a double of the Batman wingsuit, Robert. Pattinson we have two of those so yeah you know Batman collectors sometimes you forget what you have and you end up picking multiple and like I said there's another sweeping shot of this awesome awesome Batman shelf right there like I said and there's a Batman tin there too another one to keep like color pencils or makeup or anything like that and stuff and now you get that good sweeping shot right there of all the Batman shelves we got one more shelf to go through but yeah there's kind of a wide shot sweeping through all of them and now we have our replica kind of shelf. That's the replica Batarang from Batman Beyond. Stay tuned to the end of the video to get a special glimpse at that bad boy. A replica of Michael Keaton's Batman mask. A replica of his bat Batarang, like Batman grappling hook. And also a replica of his Batarang right here. So this is really just the replica shelf that we collected and stuff like that. Fantastic pieces. Eventually maybe I'll have enough replicas that I can actually dress up in a full-on Michael Keaton Batman outfit and stuff like that with the little Batman batarangs and everything but yeah another fantastic shelf and like I said stay tuned to the end of the video for a special little maybe blooper video with that Batman Beyond batarang and you can see what that bad boy does. So I hope you guys enjoyed that going through the you know the six shelves in my room like I said that's all in the bedroom and now I have sectioned off my comics that I went to find and then I got my Blu-rays and stuff so let's get some of those right out of the way as we have the battle of the super sons with Batman and Superman going through their sons you know Damian Wayne and Jonathan Kent so this is a really cool actually fun feature that I really enjoyed the only thing I dislike about this film is kind of the way it looks the really 3d computer generated stuff I'm more of an old-school animation type person but the story the characters very fabulous film highly recommend this one next one is the batman and this was such a great surprise i think robert pattinson really laid down the groundwork for a fantastic batman and like this film is just 
balls to the wall. One of the best films that came out in recent years. And in terms of Batman, I'm very excited for the sequel. I think Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson have something very special in store for us with this whole run for Batman. Next up, we have the Dark Knight trilogy on Blu-ray. Dark Knight Rises, The Dark Knight, and Batman Begins. The Christopher Nolan trilogy. One of the greatest eras of Batman for sure. And I'm excited that now we have Matt Reeves' as Batman really grounded but a totally different take and yeah this is a fantastic blu-ray box set that comes with cool lobby cards all the movies and stuff and yeah dark knight rises fun fact is my favorite batman film i know that's kind of a hot take a lot of people don't fancy that one but that is my favorite one dark knight rises and now we have batman mask of phantasm and the sub-zero this uh, movie right here dealing with mr freeze man very good too good double feature watch right here that takes me back to that old school era of you know kevin conroy voice acting as batman and stuff we miss you so much and like yeah this just is nostalgia heavy nostalgia it takes me back how could you not love it next up we have batman ninja a really cool one that I like because I fancy Japanese animation. I'm a fan of, you know, Ninja Scroll and Samurai Champloo and Yu Yu Hakusho. And this film really calls back to those kind of films, that kind of animation and like that kind of lore and stuff like that. So Batman Ninja is another film that I highly recommend. And recently started picking up, like I said, building up my physical media collection again. So I definitely need to get more. So now we're going to move on to the reading materials. And I got some cool little Justice mini comics that we're going to go through right here. Look at this. Justice League mini comics right here. Oh, yeah. We can't we cannot forget these. I collect a lot of stuff. Like I said, Batman, DC. Most of the toys and the figures and stuff like that you see in there are my wife's. And I'm more of the, the Blu-ray, the DVDs, the comics. This is mostly my collection. And then, like I said, hers is mostly all the figures and stuff. So now we have... One of my favorites pieces in my Batman collection, Batman versus Punisher, the comic. Like I know people, sometimes I tell people and they don't believe me, but Batman took on Punisher. And this is a really good one too, where Punisher is hunting down Joker and goes to kill the Joker and Batman stops Punisher from doing it. And then it's like vigilante versus vigilante, but one has a moral code and the other doesn't. Like these two really should meet in a cinematic movie universe. It Like it would be so fantastic because these two characters they have a lot to learn from each other and that's why i love that comic so much next up we have a detectives comic of the dc rebirth era right here you know we have batman we have robin this is when he's kind of creating the team to go with gotham to to help him you know batgirl robin you know nightwing and like the whole detective squad so they can go through gotham and really protect and everything so that was the DC Rebirth era. Next up, we have The Killing Joke, a lot of people's favorite. And this is the deluxe edition. I haven't even opened this. Like, you know what I mean? But this is a lot of people's favorite in terms of the stories by Batman that's come out. The Killing Joke is a very popular graphic novel like that, that I understand why. It has one of the darkest Jokers we've ever seen in this novel right here. So yeah, The Killing Joke, fantastic. And I like the fact that that's a hard one. And yeah, I haven't even opened it, Deluxe Edition. I've read that story, but I haven't even opened that edition. Next up, we have Batman vs. Superman, and this is the greatest hits. So this is all the Batman, Superman, like their greatest battles. So the stuff that Batman v Superman was based on, you know, all that kind of stuff, that's all prominent in this one. So yeah, it's some of the greatest battles that Batman and Superman have ever tussled with over time is in this film. And I love that logo right there. That logo art is fantastic. So even on the back, you can see that's the Dark Knight stuff. So yeah, I love that issue because some of the best issues are Batman versus Superman. And I really fancy Batman versus Superman, the movie. I think that Zack Snyder did a fantastic job trying to bring that story or that element of Batman to life and it came out very well like that's a great issue if you want to really go back and look at the history between Superman and Batman next up we have one right here this is another one I have sealed right here I have read this one and opened it and stuff but this is the Harley Quinn Batman Harley Quinn issue right here this is a fantastic one and this one actually matches my comic book case I'll show you that real quick too that has all my comics in it but yeah Love makes you do crazy things. Like this is this is a fantastic issue. Like this is like tattoo worthy artwork right there. Like I love that. That's some of the best way the Joker and Harley Quinn greatest look right there. Two of the two of them together, one of the best. And now we have the gigantic baby. 
the Batman Encyclopedia, and I say gigantic because look at that bad boy. And this is everything to do with Batman that you want to know, like when it came out, when he first used a gadget, you know, he actually used a, a gun back in the day, first issues, the different eras of Batman, all that kind of stuff. Like there's, I'm sorry, I'm just flipping through random pages and opening it right now so I can show you guys, but yeah, it's great stuff for real. Like this is one of the best things. If you're a Batman fanatic and you love reading, you love learning more about where your characters, your favorite characters came from, all, all about the lore of the comics, everything, right here, baby in this bad boy because this is this is a thick boy for real this is a thick boy right there look at that bum 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 for days and days you know what i mean it'll keep you entertained reading and stuff like that so yes that's my batman physical media collection in terms of the comics the blu-rays all that stuff and then you saw the figures the six shelves in my room the little posters and wall stuff we have my t-shirts and stuff and my pimpin hats that you know i'm always Always got to rock a hat, you know. Norn Rad 89 is always rocking a hat, so had to show off all this stuff. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to have that notification bell poked anytime so you're notified anytime I post a video. And also, like I said, be sure to check the description box so you can go sub to Voices from Mausoleum Podcast and Mike from DigiZ That so you can see those live streams that are coming up. So, Yes, got a lot of stuff coming up and big, big week for this last ending couple weeks of May. And it's the ending of the school year, too. So it's a lot of stuff going on for me. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out. I'm Batman.